All right, guys. I want to apologize for the uh, breaking content. Um, I don't know what happened, but somehow, like, all my audio got screwed up. Like when I was working on the cage, um, pretty much like going step by step, kind of showing what I did. It all got—I don't know—it's like it. The audio's there and the clips are there, but they're all crossed up. Makes no sense. I don't know what happened. Um, I tried to save it. Um, that's why it took so long for this video to come out. But. I don't know. I'm not good with stuff like that, so it's just screwed up. So I'm just gonna give y'all a quick update, and it is what it is. Sorry, guys, but the cage is looking pretty good. It's presentable. I'm very, very happy with it. But enough of me rambling. I'm just gonna show you guys what we got and explain what we did to fix it. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got, man. But it's looking good. I'm really, really happy. Check it out real quick. <laughs> But here we go. I got the whole entire car stripped, so y'all missed all of that. Uh, I think I have like the clip of how I got the motor over here. Basically, it's just sitting on some boards. I used my truck, just dragged it out, and I threw this canopy over it because I know it was going to rain. But I have these brackets like right here that I ha had, well, I was in the process of cutting off. I didn't want to cut them off because I really didn't want to damage this, this chassis to do the V8 swap. So the only spots that had to be, you know, cut or modified because of the V8 was right here. It's like I said, it's unfortunate. I guess I could have left them, but they just were kind of pointless. And right here, I had to cut the pinch weld. And I'm going to hammer this back a little bit because I want to run the fast intake. And I heard it kind of, you know, gets into this because it's a little, it's a tight squeeze right there. But I put these dipple dye panels right here. If you're familiar with FD, there's like a little brace that runs right across right here. I basically just cut that off or just trimmed it back and put this dipple die panel in there. So that should make it a whole lot, you know, more rigid. I kind of just did it to tie it in because I'm also going to make a custom strut tire bar that will connect, have a dipple die panel across the motor and run right in there to the firewall. So it should tie together and look pretty good. And as you can see, we have the cage is actually straight. And we got some dipple die panels right there. We got some back here. You can see how much further back the cage is. You know that it was the back hoop was like right through here. I mean, it was like taking up a good you know part of the doorway. So moved it back as far as I could. So basically what we did, um, I cut the whole entire passenger side off, up with the A-pillar bar and everything, and basically just copied the, uh, the driver's side. I got tire intrusion bars put in, it's a new dash bar, um, let's see here, the back bars have been redone. Uh, I left the plates um, on the back, so cut all three bars or all four bars out, redone those. We got some more dipple die panels in the back. Let's see. But you can't really tell, but if you watch the previous video, the roll cage was like mounted like right here. And like I said, I basically just cut it off the platform and redone it. Made these boxes that come off the frame. So, jeez, <laughs> my little Punisher skulls fell down. Kind of mocking those guys up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. Oh yeah, you also missed that. I made a bunch of block off panels for the firewall. Basically, I just traced the circles or the design out uh, with some cardboard, and then just cut them out of some uh, just some sheet, uh, 16 gauge, whatever. Not really good i'm not a fabricator so i don't know and then just kind of tacked them over the holes so hopefully that will keep any smoke or stuff coming in did it back here now that's where like the eg uh the uh, abs stuff comes through you can also see like right there um, that's how 
far back the cage is it was the cage was like right up here on the front of this box so I cut it loose slid it back and uh, put that little gusset right there just because I want it to be you know strong so this thing's definitely not going nowhere so it's all tied in so it should be okay like I said I'm not a fabricator this is not really my forte but you know it is what it is <clears throat> let's see right now what we're working on as I picked up these little things I'm uh, kind of doing some prep work to getting this thing cleaned up and ready to spray and primer which I kind of already did but I ran out so I had to go back and get some more but I wanted to get something over it just so it was protected because it sits outside under the zoning so but these are designed to kind of go right there but to me that's kind of boring I'm just kind of poking out there I don't know so I was kind of wanting to like throw this guy like over here a little bit or something just to kind of help fill that gap up got this little magnet back there to kind of help hold it now it's not going to sit up there come on come on there we go something like that but I need to get that gap going a little spot down there I don't want that sitting there to me that looks better than just having it hanging out right there Let's see what else what else what else but yeah the car is 100% stripped um, I got the whole like everything just dropped down I'm gonna roll it so I'll sit on the jack I'm just gonna roll it back um, so this thing's pretty light too like so you can pick the front of the car up it weighs nothing um, now this right here is super super sketchy it's about as stable as my ex-girlfriend you definitely don't want to try that trust me but uh, you know we all make mistakes but anyway um, so yeah I just got like right there with the exhaust um, where I had the factor manifold come out I gotta clean that up um, just clean up the spots where the the paint's chipping uh, like back there where the engine hit it right there clean this up Let's see we'll get, trying to think of anything else we've done some more there's there's holes all in this thing man um, just where everything all the wires and stuff was coming through so but I got to get that cleaned up I'm kind of pumped like I said I really don't consider myself a welder I have some welds it's not gonna focus like right here I have some welds I'm very very proud of they look awesome and then I have some that I'm not very proud of and I could take the time and grind them off and clean them up but uh, uh, it's gonna be all right <laughs> I'm ready to get this thing back together so yeah I'm gonna figure these guys out right here and uh, we'll go from there like I bought all this stuff and I was like man I, you know don't want to waste the money so I might as well use them right <laughs> so it's like these little guys I mean I paid like wasn't that much I think it was like 10 bucks for these two or something I don't know which is actually a lot I actually bought some more little gussets uh, I don't really want to go through the headache of welding them in all over the place so because uh, this cage it actually had some like right here so I bought these so I could match the to match the passenger side to the driver side so um, yeah but you can see the cage oh let's slip this down the cage is tucked up way nicer um, this bar is a little far back that kind of bugs me a little bit but it's okay I'll get over it you know now I can run sun, sun visors so but yeah it's gonna be all right. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I wish I just would've got the cage kit and done it myself. It probably turned out way better. Um, but you know, so lessons you learn in life, right? So. But yeah, I gotta figure these guys out. I would love to get someone's opinion on it, but by the time you see this video, I will already have figured this out by sh for sure. Um, I just like that angle, man. I just, like it angling in to me, I think is sick. 
I would hold y'all up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, and see you got room for the for the coil over to come through. So that just looks boring to me. I don't know. Ah, I don't need it. I don't even know about those guys. I'm usually like really like I wanted to paint this cage like like a really I don't know, like a really poppy kind of red, maybe like uh, something with like a lot of metallic flake or something like that. I don't know. I'm really like conservative, so like my cars, like I said, I like all the cool stuff, you know, the big like you know big wheels and all that stuff. But I'm you know, I don't know. So I'm trying to trying to break out and do some cooler stuff. So as you can see, my choice of wheels, I got like freaking five sets of these. I'm about to take these things, take these wheels off. Snatch the subframe back. I got like some prepping stuff I gotta do up under the car. But yeah. But anyway, that's where we're at. Like I said, I wanna apologize again for the gap and you know, content. I have no idea what happened. Um, but it like the whole, just with the whole thing, like with the cage, the stress from it, and, like how it turned out and everything. And then on top of like me doing the work, having to do the work. When I went to go edit, like it's all jacked up. I, I don't know. So I might try to save some of the little clips and stuff like that and throw them in the back of this just so y'all can see a little bit of the cage getting done or getting fixed, whatever. Um, but I don't know. But yeah. Um, so prep work, primer, and then on the next video, y'all see what we're going to do as far as paint, which I'm pretty sure I've done mentioned. And... They don't put this thing back together because we're trying to make it a form of drift, you know, just to ride around and be hang out with all the friends and stuff, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So, oh, got some really cool parts coming up. You might see that in the next video. But anyway, sorry guys, once again, appreciate you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, share. It is always greatly appreciated. And I hope you will follow me in my suffering as I finally get this car together. Um, so, so, so ready. I cannot tell you. Oh, man. But until next time, guys, appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next one.